In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the house shoe magnet in two different ways. Um, the, the first method is uh, more straightforward. Um, we want to create uh, the magnet uh, with a magnetization direction along this path. So uh, first, uh, we separate this magnet in three different components, and then we assign each component with um, different materials uh, with the proper magnetization direction. So here, for this component, um, uh, the magnetization direction is along the negative x direction, while this one is along the uh, negative uh, phi direction. Here uh, we change the material coordinate system um, into the cylindrical instead of the Cartesian. And for the last part, we assign it with the magnetization direction along the positive x direction, and the material coordinate system is the Cartesian instead of the cylindrical, for, um, which is uh, this part. And the magnet um, and the flux density uh, distribution uh, is as uh, what expected. Uh, the second method is um, uh, is to uh, create a material, and its magnetization direction is related to the um, uh, position. Um, the here the parameters x y are the um, in inherent parameters inside the Maxwell, and uh, we also utilize uh, the function, uh, the sine function here. So um, here, uh, this magnet uh, is uh, one single piece, and uh, when the position x uh, is uh, larger than zero, uh, the y component will be zero, and uh, the magnetization direction will be only along the X um, uh, will be uh, on X uh, will be along the X component. So for for this part, the magnetization will be only uh, along the X uh, direction, um, and it is determined uh, by the sine function of the Y position. So for this part, the Y position is uh, smaller than. And zero, so uh, that means that the sine function will be negative one. Um, so this part, the magnetization is along the negative uh, x direction, while this part, the sine function of y position is one. So uh, the magnetization is along the x direction. Uh, well, for this part, um, that means uh, the uh, mag magnetization direction for x component and the y component will be determined by the x y position. Along the x component, it will be y over the distance, while the uh, y component it will be minus x over the distance. That means the direction is along this path, that is um, uh, the negative phi direction. And if we plot the flux density, uh, we'll see that the flux density is the same as the flux density created in the first method. Uh, 